I'm doing a quick video on how to change your GPU in the M17X R3. Processor, GPU. If I fumble through this a little bit, it's because I've never done this before. At least not on this system. Careful not to strip any of your screws. GPU fan. I don't know why I'm having problems with the size of the screwdriver. Nice, these brackets completely come off. Good way to get them lost. Maybe that one doesn't come off. <clears throat> it looks like he's out. That one's out also. Well, GPU is still screwed in. Let me go ahead and remove it. Went up no problems. Oh, there it is. Back, it's a little bit different. And there's thermal pads underneath there. Very interesting. and a little disturbing. And if you look here, it's another thermal pad. Looks like the same thermal pad I have, almost. This is what I'm using. Nope, this is thicker. I have to find to see if I have thicker thermal pads to replace that, but that's interesting. See chips right here. I don't know if those are the memory. I haven't seen what's underneath here yet, but they're using a thermal pad. Yeah, there's nothing on the other side. Very interesting. This is a little bit different. This is a little unexpected because what I have 
the TI-5870, which I plan on sliding right in, screwing it down, and hope it doesn't blow up. The thermal pads that I have on here were the correct placement for my 5870 in my M15X. So what does this mean? This means I need to... Actually, it should work. All I need to do is get the heatsink off of the card, like that. I also have to, oh, memory chips are right there, peel off the existing thermal pads, which I will more than likely just end up tossing out, but for now, I am going to put them back. I don't want to remove the thinner thermal pads. So I will take these off. This one as well. This looks a little weird. It's green. Oh, I know what this is. Let me get my blower real quick. The green stuff is actually uh, very expensive uh, thermal material. I forgot the brand of it, but um, what I got was just a sampling of it because when I found out how much it cost, I said no way am I spending the money on that. So let me take some thermal grease remover. get it wiped off here. I, I'm not doing the most perfect job because I'm really going to deal with this later. Let me just put the card over here. So, OCC freeze. Think. And make some compliant so everything just fits. What was this? This was like this. Yeah, that's not going to work. The problem is the thermal pads I have underneath are probably too thick. I wasn't even hitting that. And I would guess it would have to do with those. And this one's going to come off. Let's try that again.
This might work. But there seems to be some distance there. Well, I'm really just trying to see if this ATI card is going to work in this machine. This machine came with the NVIDIA 460. If it does work, so you can see the brackets here. They're not going totally down. Sit down. Doesn't look like it. There's just a lot of tension there. This side is not catching at all. Still too much tension there. Let's see what's wrong. Well, we had good contact with the die. Thermal pad that was on the edge here. Existing thermal pads are about the same size. So, is there something about the heat sink? Again, if I was doing this as a permanent solution, I would have took off the thermal paste and redid it again. I'm doing this just to test. Just to see if it could be done. Have not a perfect fit, but I'd have to see if, if that affects temperatures at all. I can't think of why that's not really going to fit, not fitting perfectly. Let's just put it together. 